Hello everyone and welcome, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street. I hope you're doing fantastically well today wherever you are in the world. We're going to be looking at Chainlink uh, in this video, just a quick chart analysis update. So the last one we did, uh, we had a bit of stability and we were wondering where things were going to go. Well, we now got a clearer picture here, guys. Um, there's a couple of elements I'll bring to the attention uh, here uh, to begin with. So I thought that we'd have like maybe a $36 um resistance level that's kind of half been proven uh but we we did have literally just going up to 36.33 today so far it's not the closed day yet so there's plenty of opportunity to still beat that point in time um so it kind of matches up relatively well with our retracement uh the fib retracement here um so we're going to be very interested to see if we can break that barrier keep some momentum upwards but in general like a psychological number of course is around 35 so couldn't quite do that yesterday um but we have done so today so if we can get um maybe a close over 35 today and a bit of stability over the next couple of days we might see a big upswing guys to the next levels i have put some two areas down here just in case we do have um too much resistance and the bulls fail their method to try and push this up further we've had some good um interaction with bitcoin and ethereum of course over the last 48 hours which has allowed the momentum across the market to take us to newer heights that we haven't really seen in the majority of cases since around may time when we started the correction downwards so since the 20th of june or sorry 20th of july to july 21st ish We've gone from around 15 to 35, so well over double. And the last 24 hours as of recording, we're, we're kind of just over 10% uh, growth on link. So it's really looking positive on that aspect. Um, but to see where we go in the next couple of days, of course, we can do an update further down the line on this. But I do, I do anticipate that we need to just assess here. For example, uh, previous high, I think was 52... 52.27 if I remember, uh, 52.70, sorry, I got my sevens and twos the wrong way around. So we've got a long way to go to try and obtain uh, that previous all-time high around this area here, which I think was around the 10th of May. In fact, we're just gonna draw that in so that we've got a reference point for the near future, hopefully, as we obtain this. Uh, what we'll do in the next update is we'll just readjust this retracement. What I will wait for, though, is to just get confirmation that we're definitely over the $30 uh, support line. We could come back and test that, which is why I have put these two potential buy areas in for taking some profits along these ways, um, particularly if you're sort of day trading or four hourly trading, etc. Um, this is not financial advice, of course, but just my observations and opinions. Um, I personally have a buy order around here just in case because I do think this project, similar to Polkadot, is so undervalued. Um, we're going to see some great things in this run coming up towards the end of this year and maybe into next year as well. But in general, the future, five, ten years time, this thing is going to be incredible. Probably well over a thousand dollars in my opinion, um, you know, in the long term, of course, not, not necessarily this year. Uh, but certainly really exciting stuff. So we absolutely smashed through this $30 barrier finally after having a good testing of this part here. We've gone past that. We couldn't quite get, as I said, over the 35. Having said that, we have gone over to 36. So like I said, if we can get a close over $35, that is incredible, incredible growth patterns from um, Link in the last 24, 48 hours. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. Of course, we... Uh, we haven't seen um, you know, these kind of heights for some time since around sort of mid-May, as I mentioned. But yeah, looking back at that July mark around 13 odd dollars is actually quite incredible, really, how much growth we've had in relatively short space of time. So don't be too, um, you know, too surprised if we start bashing the door again of that sort of $45, $50 mark uh, sooner rather than later. So very exciting. Um, and to mention as well, I'm pretty sure we've also had another milestone uh, with a around about $15 billion uh, the market cap has crossed for uh, Link as well. So that's really interesting to keep an eye on as well. Um, and that's just showing really good encouragement from institutional and retail investors as well. So let's keep an eye on it. Right now in a big strong mode, the MACD completely switched over here on the first. The narrowing of the gap um, 
got even, even bigger. So we're in a nice positive momentum here. Just keep an eye on this RSI. We're slightly top heavy, but that means we've still got room in the tank upwards, but that is why I'm also anticipating potential buy opportunities around here in case of a bit of a swing of profit taking. But in general, last 48 hours, the growth has been really good volume wise, um, actually going almost into a little V shape here in terms of volume. So we've already had almost some profit taking here, but I probably wouldn't anticipate some big sell offs uh, until we perhaps pr approach that $40 mark. But you will get some around this $35, $36 mark, obviously, because uh, it's it's kind of in, in the middle of that and you will have some profit taking even from this point here, around the 30th, 30th of August, sorry, where the price was around $25. So if we can get to that 40 mark, um, you know, that's, that's fantastic growth, even in literally a week's space. So let's keep an eye on it. Let us know in the comments below if you are holding link and what your anticipation is in terms of price predictions, etc for this awesome project for 2021 into 2022 final or certainly one of the key runs in the next couple of weeks, uh, couple of months. Year to date guys, 200 odd percent year to date growth. So that's absolutely phenomenal. We're up on the weekly, monthly and free monthly. Six months is still uh, um, including the drop down that we had from May towards July. So that's understandable, but look at this bullish momentum. If we take that element out, we are surging, absolutely surging. Three months, 100% increase in growth. There's not many projects out there that can obtain that even in stock markets. So this is a great opportunity. It's a fantastically healthy run up here. So there's no parabolic movements really, to be honest, apart from arguably around here, but again, tailed off with a bit of profit taking and we're accelerating upwards again. So look at this chart overall. It's looking really, really bullish. I would also mention that we might see a potential, potential resistance around, around this level here. Uh, let's keep an eye on that. Uh, as we move forward. So that is actually around about the 44, $45 mark. So that could be one of the last hurdles before we start pushing this mega 50 and more importantly, the all time high uh, of 52, even $53 on the nose. So let's get excited guys. I think this is really going bullishly well uh, and we're going to start testing these really awesome key support areas. Let's go over the 35, let's try and trigger that, but do anticipate that we might need to come back and test this around about this area again between 30 and $31. Um, maybe potentially drop back down to here just to confirm that this is the next support level uh, because ultimately you know, we had had quite a number of tests in this area already, but let's see. So a bit of caution, but everything is moving positively. Coming up Millhouse, as they say, for link. Gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please make sure that if you have not done so already to like and subscribe and make sure you press the notification bell to ensure you get notified of all the awesome, awesome videos that we throw your way. And we will see you in the next video. Got a couple of awesome updates over the next four hours. Looking forward to it. See you soon.